Hello, and welcome back to another YouTube video. Hi, I'm Speeder. It has been so long since I have filmed a video with commentary. For far too long. Uh, I've been putting out a bunch of Minecraft no commentary videos, which actually seem to be doing pretty dang well, so at least for my channel. Uh, so I'm going to keep putting those out every day if I can, um, but I want to get back into more of a schedule with posting normal content, so here I am doing that again. Uh, I should be releasing these every Monday for the most part. But today we are starting a new playthrough. Uh, if you can't tell by the title or the thumbnail, we are playing Pokemon Legends Arceus, which I know very little about. I have played a little bit of it before when I first got the game, because I was unable... <coughs> I was unable to play it with filming at the same time when I first got the game. And so I did play a little bit of it. I've played through, uh, spoiler alert, I've played through the first trial and I presented myself to the captain and was about to learn crafting when I stopped. And that's how far I've gotten. I'm not sure if we're going to get that far in this episode. So this may be an episode that I've already seen, but we're just going to go for it. So, uh,. Yeah, let's go full screen and let's get started. <clears throat> Welcome to my realm located beyond both time and space. It is well that thou art here. I am that which humans call Arceus. Now, I wish to know thine appearance. Ah, well. Say that's the most accurate. What is thy name? That would be Speeder. <clears throat> Speeder. Soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. Speeder. Seek out all Pokemon, and thou shalt find me once more. Wake up! Oh, do wake up, won't you? Are you alive, my girl?
It gave me quite the shock, falling from the sky like that. But thank goodness you seem unharmed. Who are you? I'd like to ask you the same. I mean, you fell out of the sky, you understand? Come now. Who in this world does that? I must say, your clothing is... unusual. You wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? I don't know. I see. You seem to be in, some, in a bit of a pickle. I'd offer you some directions. Do you have somewhere around here you could stay? No, nowhere. So you don't even know anyone here, and you don't even know where to spend the night. Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. Are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? I don't know what to do. I see. Well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. Oh my, I'd completely forgotten. I had just caught up with these three runaway Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. It's almost as if they knew you they knew you'd appear here. Ah, but do you even know what a Pokemon is? Uh, not exactly. Obviously I do. <laughs> you you don't? You truly have traveled a long way, haven't you? Well, these three here are what we call Pokemon. Very mysterious creatures, you see. Marvelous. Oh, yes. And what might your name be? Oh! So you're called Speeder. That's cool. That name has quite the ring to it. I imagine it must have some lovely meaning. Hmm. Gamertag? I don't know. <laughs> oh, but I do apologize. I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Leventon. I am something of a Pokemon professor. This is to say, I am a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as these are... Uh, yeah. Oh, Blast and Baller. My darling Pokemon, why must you run away from me again? I'm terribly sorry, but you think you could help me round them up? I thank you. Wait, you three! Wait! Okay, I have played one Pokemon game before this. Um, I was really into the card game for most of my childhood, but the only other video game I have played is Pokemon X and Y. Um, so... I don't really know as much as I probably should. There's a glowing, beeping object over there. Investigate. You found something that resembles a phone. It's probably your phone, but it's changed shape. You feel a strange power emanating from it. A message appeared on the screen. I bestow upon you, upon thee, this arc phone and thy mission. Seek out all Pokemon. So I, I do know quite a bit about Pokemon, but at the same time, I, I'm not familiar with a lot of the format of the Pokemon games. I think this is, like, pretty different in a lot of ways, but also similar. I don't know. Also keep in mind that this is this is a uh, kind of a trial run episode with a semi new audio setup that I'm kind of testing so the audio in this episode isn't very great. I apologize for that, but I'm working with a relatively new setup. So yeah. Let's go talk to the professor. Ah, <sighs> alas, yet another miss. Aha! I'm glad to see you've come to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. 
I tried catching my little runaways by tossing some Pokeballs their way, but I'm not the best. With this thing sort of as this at this sort of thing, you see. I'd love to get I'd love to give you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you a bit about these three first. Now that one is Roulette. Roulette can photosynthesize like a plant, and apparently it battles using its sharp feathers. That one over there is Cyndaquil. The fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it is surprised or irritated or irate. The Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott. Oshawott naps while floating on the water, and it can battle using the sh shell like object on its belly. Oh my, I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing how to go about catching Pokemon. Here you are, my girl. Pokeballs. Throw these at, po at Pokemon to catch them. Pokeball. A mysterious ball that can be thrown at wild Pokemon in order to catch them. These balls can be crafted by hand if you gather the necessary materials. Oh, but that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize, let me be more thorough. Now, I've mentioned already that Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to minuscule size. And that's where Pokeballs come in. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see. Throw one of them at a Pokemon, and why the Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball comfy as can be. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. I know we've just met, but I'm afraid I have no one else to turn to. I'd be awfully grateful if you could catch my three runaways. Now the proper technique is to take aim at the Pokemon, then let the ball fly. It's quite simple. Though far be it from me to say so, I suppose giving my own dire lack of skill in this area. See if I can do this as well as I did last time. Oh, wonderful! You've caught a Pokemon. Seems you're quite the, you've got quite the knack for this Pokemon catching business, Speeder. Jolly useful skill to have around here. Only two of my darling runaways left now. Still, this is not this is most unusual. They don't seem fearful of Poke. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. And that's one of the big differences I've noticed is that uh, in this world. People aren't very familiar with Pokemon, whereas in the other games that I've played, they seem at least slightly more familiar, or at least slightly less skittish half the time. I can hardly believe it, Speeder. Incredible. You know, many people fear to even approach Pokemon, never mind catch them. Bravo, indeed. Just one more to go. Let's wrap this up sharpest, shall we?
Oh yes, I'm afraid that can happen. Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Give it another girl. Go, old girl. I wonder if that happens every single time, because that same thing happened in the exact order last time I played this. So I'm just wondering if, uh... That is a thing that's, like, scheduled to happen. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. You see, the three Pokemon you caught have only just arrived at the village to help with our research. They will listen to anyone. And as I mentioned, they bolted from the village almost as if they knew you'd come falling. But I must say, Speeder, I was taken aback by how well you use Pokeballs. How it is, how is it that you catch Pokemon so ably when you've only just arrived here? One can't help but think there's a reason you appeared here and now. Seek out all Pokemon. That object is an arc phone, you say? What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? If you'll indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. You see, I have a dream to compile this region's first complete record of its Pokémon. We in the field call such a catalog a Pokédex. Yes, a proper Pokédex is a wonderful work of research containing detailed records of all the Pokémon to be found in a region. But in order to properly document Pokemon, one must, of course, catch them. And therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokeballs have only just been invented, and not many have mastered the skill of using them. Enter you, a person with a clear talent for catching Pokemon. Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon, and mine is to have all those Pokemon caught. A situation right for teamwork, don't you agree? Come now, what do you say? Shall we help one another out, my girl? You've convinced me. Then whoever and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. We have a Pokedex to complete. First things first, let's get these Pokemon back to the village. Then we'll sort out your lodgings and find you some proper clothes and a meal and all that. Follow me then. Onward to Jubilife Village. Thank you for your tireless work, keeping us safe, my good guardsman. This young lady was of great assistance to me and my Pokemon, so I hope you'll forgive my bringing her into the village for a bit. This way, if you please. Jubilife Village. It's come to a long way thanks to the fine people of the Galaxy Expedition Team. I'm not gonna read all this dialogue out loud. It's too quick. The arc phone is beeping. Somehow it seems to show you where you need to go next. Uh, 
Okay, so I'm probably gonna make these episodes about 30 minutes long. Um, maybe slightly longer if I'm like at a point where I can't pause. But. Well now, aren't you awfully suspicious? Wow. The wallflowers for galaxy team folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. Who in the world are you? And what's that bizarre garb you're wearing? Pokemon could slice right through those flimsy excuses for clothes. Hmm. For you to get in here, someone must have vouched for you. Was Professor Leventon? Do you know? Do you two know each other? He's from a region a long way off. Not the most reliable sort, though. Letting Pokemon run off and give them their slip and all. Three more of them got away just a while ago. If I had been resting up after some Pokemon drubbed me with a move called Thunder Shock, I'd have corralled them for sure. But the professor, well, unfortunately, is just as Ray says. I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. Heck. But everything will be quite alright now. Speeder here has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. As in, she's going to join the Survey Corps? What makes you think that's a good idea? We can't just take in any misfit who wanders out of the wilderness. I'll allow it. Assuming the individual can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. I am the captain of the Galaxy Team's Survey Corps. You may call me Silene. Professor Leventon has told me how you helped secure his Pokémon when, when they slipped his control. And now it seems he would like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labor. Hmm. You look to be about 15 or so. Quite old enough to work for your keep. But we can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us without any idea of their skills or origins. Tomorrow, we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Oh, a most reasonable decision, Captain. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite all right. I prefer to eat alone, so I may appreciate my meals without distraction. Aloof as always, I see. Well, no matter. The rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversation, eh? Then, eh? Benny, old chum. The usual potato mochi, if you please. We'll make it for three today. Wonderful stuff, Benny. Most obliged. Much obliged. Your potato mochi never fails to please. Where did you find this stranger in the first place, Professor? Oh, well, you know that of that great hole in the sky? The one called the Space-Time Rift? Our new friend fell right out of it. Was that a joke? Come now, I am a scientist. My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomena. I concern myself only with facts. Now, you already know there are many Pokemon here in the Hisui region. I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing some of these things very wrong. <laughs> sure, they're all over the place. In the grass, in the forests, in the ocean. It's up to us and Survey Corps to study them and figure out what kind of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It's all but impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess, or what sorts of wondrous things they can do. But that's where Speeder will come in. She successfully caught three Pokemon. 
three of them in quick order, you understand. Nobody in the Galaxy team is capable of a feat such as that. This means we can finally begin our Pokemon research in earnest. That's really something. We count ourselves lucky when we manage to catch a single wild Pokemon, while fending off their attacks. Oh, well, to be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that fled to the beach weren't on the attack. But the key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well, and it seems our new friend is fearless enough to just to do just that. Does the Survey Corpse really have the leeway to be enjoying a leisurely meal with this outsider? Your captain just orders ten whole portions of potato mochi, you know. The slow progress on that Pokedox of yours is clear. Yours clearly has her on edge. I'm sure we'll start to rein in the good captain's stress eating soon enough. Now have your fill, Speeder. And think, if you make it to the into the galaxy team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. The team provides for all its members' needs, even if said members fell out of the sky. That was quite delicious. Quite delicious indeed. You're awfully relaxed about all this. You do know that we won't get to have Speeder join the Survey Corps unless she passes a trial. Not to worry, I have complete confidence in Speeder's skills. Let's hope it's not misplaced. Speeder, was it? For tonight, at least, we will provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters here. But if you fail to pass the trial we put to you tomorrow, you must move on. You will be expelled from the village to meet your fate, and perhaps your death in the wilds. Captain Silene's like... a sweet in a way. They're both plenty harsh. Now, now, she simply puts on a stern front to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turned in for the night, eh? It's a good thing one can't fall out of the f futons we sleep in here. I imagine our, our new friend has had enough falling for one day. And with that, I bid you both a good night. Yeah, sleep tight. Still, people falling from the sky? That's some kind of story. Survey tips contain all sorts of useful information to help you carry out your survey works in a sweet region. To read them at any time, simply press the up button to open the menu, then go to the home screen. Handy tips for team members. Don't wish your toils to be forgotten? Diligent record keeping will save you from such a fate. Hey in there, you awake? That was some wild lightning last night, right? Anyway, if you're up, come on out. Okay. Well, we have...
reached the stop time for today's episode. So I'm going to try and uh, end this off here. Uh, yeah, each of these episodes will probably be about this length, 30 minutes, maybe a little bit longer sometimes, but this feels like a pretty decent stopping point for now. Um, we've just finished the first little section of the tutorial. Um, capturing these passive Pokemon and moving partially in to our new home. So, yeah. It's ought to be interesting. Uh, yeah, that's all I have for today, so I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.